Hey Club Pink ladies, happy Sunday night. I have a cool toy I wanted to show y'all because it's something, when I try something and I love it, I don't want to keep it to myself and I want to let y'all know about it. And so this one has been a new fun um, thing that I decided to get and give a try and I've fallen in love with it. And so um, I wanted to show y'all how to use it because it helps a lot with, um, sometimes it, it, well, it can help with just muscle tightness um, and muscle tightness can lead to joint pain so um, that is not fun and also I know for me and, and I think a lot of people deal with this particular area on my right side on um, this side of my neck I tend to get more tight here and um, it especially seems to kick into high gear if I if I do play tennis because I'm doing this overhead motion <laughs> and the next day I'm like, I can't turn my head. And so um, I've had to, you know, go to the chiropractor, do things to, to help release that. And this um, uses trigger point because, you, you know, they can, I can go to the chiropractor and he can release that trigger point. Well, this also helps to hit those trigger points. And so this is something that I've used um, to help with my neck getting tight. And um, it's also something that I've used to help with the muscles in my legs to keep them from being so tight and um, release it, relieving some knee pain that I'll have if my muscles get too tight in certain places like in my calves and my ankles area, if that muscle um, down the side of my calf gets tight or my inner thighs and it leads to my, it'll make our, um, our body will kind of pull the, the kneecap the wrong way and it can cause rubbing and cause pain, so that's not fun. So anyway, I got this cool tour. Hello, Betsy. How you doing tonight? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show y'all a few of these. Okay, the first one I want to show you is that one that really gets me the most. And you can see this thing. It's called an AccuStick, okay? And it has a ball on each end, and then it's funky shaped. And these curves, the reason it's funky shaped is it allows you to get deep into the muscle. So I'm going to use the ball on this end and then the one on this end first. Groovy. It is super groovy. I love this. is my new best friend. <laughs> And uh, so if I can't get my hubby to give me a massage, I got my new groovy AccuStick. All right, so I'm putting this little ball right, and, and there's different spots you can hit, but what I found it to be most effective, especially when my neck is tight, is to hit what is the middle trap, trapezius. We have this big muscle up here in our back, and we have a, a, the middle part of that muscle. It's divided into three parts. Is a, There's a pressure point there, and when that gets all knotted up, it makes our neck where we can't move it. And so... Can't pop it, can't do anything. So I put this in that kind of mid trap area and then I just pull. So I kind of jab that ball in and I'm gonna turn away from y'all for a second so y'all kind of see. And then I just really, and I'm just, I'm gonna turn this side. So I'm just kind of pulling, pulling, pulling. Woo! And it's one of those things, it hurts so good, ow. I'm feeling it like shooting up my neck right now, even though you see where I've got it. it has nothing to do with my neck from looking at it, but I'm feeling that just, but that muscle is all, all that is connected here so that is a really good one and it's funny when I do this usually I can do that and my neck will pop but if I um my neck will get so tight sometimes I can't hardly turn it much less pop it and this whew, it really does it really does feel good really really no it really hurts <laughs> but it uh helps relieve that pressure point and so ah, then I can move my neck and it's lovely it's groovy as Betsy would say all right then another one this ball on this end we're going to use the, the other end of the hook you can actually stick this this is an area because we're always sitting and we're kind of in this front rural driving our cars on our phones these muscles right here get really tight and so you just kind of put this apply this kind of like right above your armpit area kind of more toward the chest side and you just kind of press it in and you kind of, you might have to move it till you really find a spot. When you feel a spot that's like, ow, 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 then you found that, uh, that pressure point spot in that part right there. There it is for me. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but that's where I'm at. And I'm kind of pushing down a little bit of an angle and just applying a little bit of pressure. And that helps keep all that from getting so tight. And of course, you want to make sure you do it on both sides. One side might be tighter than the other. That's okay. That's normal too. So, I think that my right is a little bit tighter, which is be expected because I'm right-handed so don't be shy though to kind of get in there and apply a little pressure um, and just kind of loosen up around and then you feel like whoo I can move my shoulders more got a little more range of motion now that I loosen that up all right this one I have 
um, overdeveloped quads. This is something I have always dealt with. And um, so I don't even do a lot of quad exercises because my quads are, I'm very what is called quad dominant. And so that means that my quads dominate everything on the backside, like my hamstrings. My quads just kind of reach around and do the job of my hamstrings. So no, like no other muscle in my body has to do anything because my quads are so dominant. And so what that means is they're always very tight too. Um, so this one is a really good one for me. And that also means it can um, aggravate my knees if those muscles just get too tight. So I'm using this, so I'm putting it this way and I'm actually kind of just putting this, this solid part on my knee. Actually, let me do it this way first. Um, so you can hold it this way and have the, the hook part, or not the hook, but the little pointy part here. And then you've got pressure on each side of your thigh. So we've got these, uh, we've got several thigh muscles here. We've got, um, it just it, we call them the, the quads, but it's uh, four muscles. So, um, so I wanna actually kind of run down the main middle here and then I kind of lean it kind of push into one side and then same thing on the inside and my hip just popped just doing that <laughs> that's for you Betsy my hip popped. <laughs> in a good way in a good way though all right so applying a little pressure and a lot of times I'm tighter on the inside and I can flip this around and kind of get that pointy part on the inner thigh because that's usually where I need it a little bit more and then I also get tight on the outside just my quads in general they're just really tight so just rubbing it up and down is just helping. And if you find a spot that's tight, you just want to kind of stay on that part of the thigh a little bit more and then dig in there and it'll help loosen that up. And then for the um, calf, this is one that really affects my knee. Um, so I take the little edge here and I'm gonna turn it this way so I can hold on to the ball and hold on here. And then I'm applying this pressure right here to the outside of my calf. And then I just kind of kind of work around, and sometimes I'll even take this little pointy part and try to really dig in there. Um, and especially I'll kind of go down near my ankles and just find any spots that are tight. And for me, when my knee was bothering me a couple weeks ago, this is where this spot and this spot I did the whole quad and I worked this spot, and my knee pain went away. So and it hasn't been back. So yay! Um, but just working out, so I just had some tightness in there. I had to to loosen up. I well, stove up, apparently. Um, so that's a good one for the calf, the side of the calf. And then the last one I want to show you, the thing I love about this is I can also use it to stretch. So you can do all kinds of different stretches because you've got this to hold on to. So if you want to like do this stretch, you can kind of grab on and I'll show y'all from the back so I can get a better stretch <laughs> because I got this to hold on to. And I love, this stretch is one of those that hurts so good. I got to take my shoes off to show y'all but it is a good one because I'm gonna loosen up. Our feet take a big beating. I know we have some ladies that even have some um, feet problems, and I know me, I have to be careful about what kind of shoes I buy, um, what kind of shoes I wear. <laughs> I got some cute ones that I just can't wear because my feet don't appreciate them the way that I appreciate them. And so this is a good, if you're like me and you don't have the best of feet, they uh, get tight. Um, then this one, because it's got this ball, you kind of get a massage. So I don't know if y'all can see me on camera. I think y'all can still see me. I'll scoop this way a little bit. So I can put the hook on my foot, but I can stick that ball in the bottom of my foot and just apply a little bit of pressure and I can get some great stretches. And by applying a little bit of pressure toward like, so you can see kind of where I'm at. Now look at my dirty socks, y'all. So the ball is like right below the, um, like not the toes, right, not in the middle of my foot, but more toward the top. So I'm just kind of applying a little bit of pressure and that even gives me more of a hamstring stretch because I'm applying pressure to my foot. I feel even more than if I were to just do a hamstring stretch. So it just kicks up the intensity and my foot is getting a little loosened up at the same time that I'm also stretching my hamstrings. And I can kind of do it out to the side. I know I'm kind of off camera now out to the side and get a little inner thigh stretch but I've also still got that pressure applying it onto the bottom of your foot. And you can kind of move it around and find where your feet are tight and just really, ooh, that's a tight spot. I moved it up toward my toes and woo -hoo, ow, ow, ow. And so I feel, well, just by applying a little bit of pressure and pulling, I'm actually feeling that like just shooting all the way down here. So lots going on there. I don't want to be uneven. I'm gonna do this leg too. All right, so this is a cool little toy, and I'm gonna get some of these and put them at the Pink Physique in the little buckets. 
um, so that y'all can get a little relief in your life, get a little pressure point relief with the AccuStick. And if you just uh, want to have one of these with you, I keep one of these in my tennis bag now. A little secret for you tennis players out there, Joe and Wileen and some of you others that play tennis. Um, so that I can like kind of rub out my muscles before I play tennis so that my knees and hips don't bother me. So it's last ever. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. So if you want to grab one um, for yourself, then I know Dick's needs to give me a kickback for that plug, but I know that they're not. So that's where I got this at. So yay. I will see y'all next week. Let's keep all those moving parts feeling flexible and no pain. All right. See y'all. Bye.